I was born and raised in North Carolina. Um, actually, was born in Pinehurst, the golf capital of the world. That's only because that was the closest hospital to this little town where I lived. Uh, graduated high school in Gastonia, North Carolina. Went to college at NC State University and uh, graduated there and went right to work. My father was an educator. He was a, a high school principal and a school superintendent. And he knew everybody in the uh, Division of Education, the Department of Education in Raleigh. And through his connections, I heard about an engineering position with uh, the facilities group in the State Board of Education. And I applied and I got the job. And that was my first job as an engineer. A lot of what I did in my first job was HVAC related and I began to learn the systems and I began to design renovations in public schools. And then I was involved in a statewide energy audit and that's how I got in, in, interested in, in building systems and particularly HVAC. And, and I, went, I left there and went to work uh, for an architecture engineering firm uh, where I was doing only design, and that's when I got involved in ASHRAE. I joined ASHRAE in 1982, and um, got really involved uh, at the first the chapter level, and then the regional level, and then the society level. It's been a big part of what I do in my life, you know, ever since. One of the manufacturer's representatives, he said, are you a member of ASHRAE? And I knew what ASHRAE was because I had seen the books and the magazines, but that's all I knew about it. And I said, no, I'm not a member of ASHRAE. And he said, well, you have to join ASHRAE. You're not gonna ever do anything in this business until you join ASHRAE. So I did. Well, the industry grows as ASHRAE grows um, and vice versa. And, and, you know, it's a big part of the industry. The nice thing about ASHRAE to me as a consulting engineer and as a young engineer when I first started were, were a lot of the resources that you could call on to, to help you. ASHRAE, it, it's the standard of the industry basically and, and it has been and it always will be. It's, it's because of the membership. We're, we're not a trade organization. We don't have manufacturers as members. Uh, we're not uh, focused on one aspect of the business. We are, we are a, a wonderful resource and a wonderful organization for all aspects of, of the building systems industry. So I think the growth of the industry and the growth of ASHRAE have certainly happened hand in hand. I was invited to attend and make a couple presentations to the World Expo in Milan, Italy during my year. So I was planning on, on going to Italy and doing that. The people at ICAR called me a few, uh, like a month or six weeks bef beforehand and said, hey, can you change your plans a little bit and come to Rome a few days early? Uh, we have kind of a special event lined up. And I said, sure, what's going on? And they said, well, we have, um, we've lined up a, a basically a behind the scenes tour of the Sistine Chapel at the Vatican. And I said, oh yeah, I'll be there for that. I changed my airlines and we got everything ready. And a couple weeks before the trip, I get another phone call from our friends at ICAR and they said, we don't have a copy of your speech. We need a copy of your speech ahead of time. And I went, what speech? And they said, well, you're the presenter at this special event at the Vatican. And I, I, you know, that's the first time they ever told me that. Obviously, it took me by surprise. Luckily, we have a wonderful staff here at ASHRAE. Uh, they jumped right on it and, and got a speech written for me. And what it turned out to be uh, was the, they had installed a brand new uh, HVAC system in the Sistine Chapel because the current system was not working and they were, they, they were concerned about losing the paintings and the frescoes and some of the artwork was deteriorating and they put in a special, um, specially designed and specially constructed HVAC system to, to maintain the, the art 
and this was the dedication ceremony for that new system and the, the cover article of the journal that month coincidentally came out that same day I was there uh, and it was about this new system at the Vatican at the Sistine Chapel. So, and, that, and I actually had some folks ask me to sign their copy, so it sort of felt like a celebrity. But, um, but that really was kind of a highlight of, of, uh, of my year. It was fun. I do a couple things. I, you know, I try to play golf, but I'm not much good at it. Uh, I do like fly fishing. I've been fly fishing since I was a teenager. People say, what's your hobby? I'll just say, ashray. You know, I mean, that's what I do when I'm not working is the ashray stuff. I really was raised with the philosophy that you're supposed to give back to the industry and or give back to whoever helped you. And, and being in the, in the HVAC world, um, you know, ASHRAE became a big part of what I did. ASHRAE became my resource and my connection and my, most of my best friends um, all came from my people I met at ASHRAE. And so I stayed with it just to give back. You can't survive in this industry without becoming a member of ASHRAE. And we do that with all of our young engineers at my office. We, we ask them to join ASHRAE if they weren't a member already. And we ask them to be involved. You, you're only gonna get out of any organization what you put in it. Uh, we really would, would like you to get involved and make the connections and find the resources that you need to advance your career.